Tommy Fury denied access into America. That's the word. Uh, let's talk about it. Drew Titan, Bronze on deck. Shout out to the mighty LDBC. Uh, this news is fairly new. I'm not familiar with the source, but um, I'll talk about it. You know, um, we'll find out if it's true or not down the line. But uh, this just in, according to uh, No Smoke Boxing, it says here Tommy Fury denied entry to the USA ahead of Jake Paul press conference. We all know that he has a press conference coming up and uh, they've been trash talking one another. Million dollars up, you know, if, you, if this guy shows up, you, you know, it's Jake Paul versus Tommy Fury. So they've been feuding for a little while. Uh, I know that Jake Paul had a, uh, he had a lot to say, he calling Tommy stupid. You know, he's talking about, oh man, you know, you know, Big John Fury made a, uh, he actually made a, uh, a video uh, and he mentioned some very revealing things. And I just found it very uh, strange, the things that he said in reference to uh, his son, uh, Tommy, showing up to America uh, to fight Jake. Um, he said, you know, if you can't do it, you can't do it, you know, uh, I don't remember it word for word, but he was very adamant. He said, you know, we have problems coming over there. I can't come and Tyson can't come. And, um, you know, he said, so Tommy will be over there with no team. And um, he said, you know, we'll, we'll take less money if you come over here and have it over here in, uh, in the UK. And Jake responded saying, you guys are so stupid. John never been in your corner when you fought over here. Um, and regardless, you know, what is Tyson going to do in your corner? You know what I mean? And sidebar, Jake Paul is actually very cool with Devin Haney, and we all know what Devin Haney went through. He went down to Australia and didn't get his dad down there until the final hour, as if that wasn't in the part of the plan. I mean, he's still outclassed and totally schooled Camboza. He didn't even have a cut man in there. He had no end swell on his uh, damn eye. They pulled every rabbit out of the hat for Devin Haney, and he prevailed. So I don't know what the problem is with Tommy. I mean, it's not like he's going to come over here and get drugged or anything like that, right? I mean, we don't we do not do that over here, right? 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 Right. Okay. Anyway, Jake Paul said we could sign in a contract. I'll agree to have nobody in my corner. I won't have my team either. But now we have another issue because according to uh, No Smoke Boxing, um, this, this news just came out fairly recently. Today, actually. Now, again, I don't know how reliable of a source this is, but I'm going to talk about it, you know, because if this is 100% accurate, um, then, you know, it's consistent to what's going on. And obviously... You know, Tommy's on the list. So let's read. It said, it's understood in recent reports that Tommy Fury, younger brother of world heavyweight champion Tyson Fury, has been denied access to the USA as he was at the airport attempting to board a flight in preparation for his pre first press conference with Jake Paul. It says here, is Tommy Fury included in the travel ban? It was just last week that Tyson Fury himself had been denied access to the board a flight to the USA following a recent crackdown from the U.S. government on any individual or entity that has close or even loose ties with Daniel Kennehan and the recently dissolved MTK Global. This is, this is serious, ladies and gentlemen. Tommy Fury had attended an, un, an unconfirmed airport uh, with his new trainer, Shane McGuigan, and brother Roman Fury, plus other members of his team when Tommy Fury was denied the ability to abort a flight believed to be linked with other recent U.S. travel bans within boxing. Oh, wow. 
the expected press conference was to pack a lot of new updates into it uh, with Shane McGuigan being announced as Tommy's new trainer being one of them. Uh, Jake Paul versus Tommy Fury in doubt. Says uh, Tommy Fury being uh, denied access to the USA has now thrown a big obstacle in the way of that plan. As well as potentially throwing of the fight between Jake Paul and Tommy Fury into doubt yet again. Queensbury is reportedly working to resolve the visa issues with authorities. Time will tell well, what good that will do. It says here, is Tommy Fury banned from the USA? It's understood that Tommy Fury has been denied access to border flight. USA prepared for his fight with Jake Paul. All right, so um, it's a short article. I'll put the link in the description if you want to read it. Again, I'm not familiar with this uh, website, you know, but... Uh, the family just sent this to me on uh, Instagram and I went to Google and here it is. Um, it's new news because I, I believe this is the only outlet reporting on it. Um, I don't care for this fight only because I don't care for Tommy Fury. Um, I actually wouldn't mind uh, seeing him get his head knocked off. I don't care for him. He sucks as a fighter. He's trash. And I think Jake Paul will absolutely destroy him. But now, since he's rubbing elbows with the rest of his criminal family, um, now you can't fly, which is why John Fury is trying to get Jake to come over to the UK. J uh, uh, Jake, stay your ass right here. For two reasons. Number one, you don't chase the Furies. The Furies have to chase you. You're, you're the A-plus side in this situation. You don't need to go over there to prove a point. You don't. You've proven the point. All right? Tommy hasn't done anything. The only thing he has is his family's last name. So the hell with him. You don't need him. Okay? You, you, you're a troll, right? You're a super troll. So gets to trolling, bro. Do what you do. Gets to trolling. There's a lot to joke about here. You know, this guy's running around with, with gag balls in his mouth and you know, and, uh, or, you know, doing a lot of homoerotic things on these uh, reality TV shows over there. Gets the clown and Jake, do what you do best. But you ain't got to go over there for them to cheat you. Yeah, Jake, they will cheat you. And they got a lot going on. And there's a lot to talk about, Jake. There's a lot to talk about. You know what they're going, you know what's going on, Jake. You know what's going on with them. But that's number one. You don't need to go over there. And number two, um, you got smoke right here. You can keep that date. You got smoke right here waiting for you. This is the perfect time for a standing. All right. Late replacement. My brother, Kendall Gill. You know, he's been calling for that smoke. You know who he is. Okay. Um, you may mention that these NBA players, you know, if they want to step up and get their heads knocked off, come on with it. Well, he's he's about that life. He's a pro fighter. All right. You say you're a pro fighter and, you know, you do your thing against the right opponent. Is Kendall Gill the right opponent for you to continue doing your thing or does he have all the tools that will stop what you what you're doing? So I'm curious to see what happens. You know, you know, I'm rolling with my brother, Kendall. So you got smoke right here, man. Forget Tommy Fury. Those criminals don't even deserve to be in a ring with you, Jake. You're not a criminal. Everything you got, Jake, you got from the mud. You've worked for yours and you're blessed and, and everything's worked out for you. You don't have to reduce yourself to getting on a plane just to uh, 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 grant those criminals another payday. They already robbed and cheated one American. Don't be the second, Jake. All right? And, and believe it or not, I'm saying that with love. I'm saying that with love. Don't you go over there. You're the A-side. Make them come here. It's not, it's not your fault that those criminals can't get on a goddamn plane. They're lucky that you was even going to bless them with a million dollars. Well, Kendall Gill... <laughs> I don't think he needs your money, but there's a bit of a personal thing there, you know, the Nate Robinson situation. And the thing is, you know, 
these basketball players it's an alumni Stephen a smith knows it shaquille o'neal knows it you know uh, a lot of nba players are familiar with kendall gill's skill set in the ring um so i chit chatted with kendall gill i said listen i don't think this fight with tommy fury is going to happen um hit up steve espinoza and uh, see what happens so jake stay right here man forget tommy fury that guy's trash he doesn't deserve your money he doesn't deserve your money and i think this would be a great fight for both of you guys so let's see what happens man the two americans iron this out leave those cheating ass gypsies where they are they don't deserve it so y'all let me know what y'all think like and share this video man bronx on deck Move!